Hi guys, Thomas Friends 47 here. Today I want to give a very special shout out to Cars Jaden. Check out their channel below. Make sure to give them a subscribe. They make awesome content and I know you're going to love it. Anyway, let's get on with the review. So today we are taking a look at the brand new Thomas Annie and Clarabelle from the new Thomas and Friends motorized line. And guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm excited for this. Genuinely excited. I cannot believe I found this at my local Walmart. My brother found it for me. And I'm excited to get into the packaging. But first let's take a look outside the box. Now that we've seen that, let's look at the engine. So Thomas is actually just your stock standard plain Thomas. So there's nothing really special about him, so I don't want to spend too much time looking at him. You know the drill. The special thing here are the coaches, and let me tell you, they are special. Not only are they packed with so much detail, which you're about to see, I mean, they just look perfect. You'll see it has nice wheel spacing, uh, there's actually a little bit of a gap in between there. They have the little step where passengers would step up to get into the coaches. They have molded door handles, uh, molded um, vents on the top, I mean, it's incredible just how much detail is here. On the front, you'll notice the faces, and these faces are actually different. They are different molds. This is a Surprised me because I wasn't expecting this. But you'll notice that Annie's smile is just a little bit more different than Clarabelle's. It's a subtle change, but it's actually a different mold, and I was amazed by that. I also really like the 3D features, how her eyes, their eyelids, their nose, everything's 3D. That's a very nice look. The other side's basically the same, and the back's plain, but it's meant to be, so that's okay. Underneath the coaches, though, there's actually some detail there. Oh, there's the roof. And underneath the coach, there's actually some detail with some molded, uh, like, braking, braking mechanisms, things like that. It's really cool. And then um, one thing that I like, too, is these wheels. They're not done in that standard black, so it's more of, like, a metallic black. It makes it look very metal-y. Also, you'll see this right here. These are molded seats on the inside of the coach, which you could sit figures, which I plan to do. And it has a nice, very uh, textured feel to them. You'll see there, it looks like wood or fabric, like carpet. Now, here's the comparison between any, uh, the Play Rail version and the motorized version. And I'm not gonna lie, I love the Play Rail version, but I actually prefer the motorized. And I'm surprised by that. But the reason why is it's because of all the detail, the 3D face, the extra roof on the edge, the extra step at the bottom. And don't get me wrong, Play Rail is the ultimate goal. Like, I think the Play Rail makes the best stuff. If you could take the Play Rail Thomas and put them with the motorized Anne Clarabelle, I would totally do that. But seeing as the comparisons here, I do wish it was a little bit longer too. But, you know, it's nothing too bad, too much. But between these two, I do prefer the motorized. Um, I do wish, though, that Annie's face had been a little bit more different. Like, maybe it's a surprised face that we're used to. But other than that, that's the only change that I could really recommend. Fisher Price, if you're watching this, which I doubt you are, you did a fantastic job. Just keep doing this, keep doing stuff like this, and this line will be the best. And I do plan on getting tons of these for customs and various other stuff. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.